Hello, one, two, yes, there we go! Wow! <laughs> Someone does not want this show to happen tonight for some reason. Uh, <laughs> hello, thank you for, uh, for staying with us there, folks at home. Uh, sorry about the late start. We just had a few technical problems, which are absolutely fine now, and we can enjoy some lovely music. Uh, that didn't sound convincing. It is convincing. We're, we're ready. Welcome to How's That TV Sessions live from Cobalt Studios. We are live on Sundays at 7, and you can listen back, of course, on Spotify, Apple Music, Audible, all of those good things, wherever you get your podcasts from. But tonight, I am joined by four of Newcastle's finest instrumentalists. Uh, Maverick Magazine described them as exciting and effortless. F roots and outfit to watch and song lines, a strong new presence. And as well as all of that, uh, they are in fact one of Bob Dylan's bath time favourites. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Hello, Assembly Lane. How are you doing? Good, thanks, Jamie. Good. Cheers. Good. Yeah, so uh, we've really put you guys through your paces getting this show uh, <laughs> happening, haven't we? But here we are. We're live. We can, uh, we can, everyone can hear you at home. We've got Sarah Galloway already saying, yep, we're all fine. Uh, Gustin Dunn, Celtic Connections, but... Celtic Connections, no, but almost. All right. <laughs> is that a compliment? I think it's a compliment. I will take it. It's yeah. a compliment. All right, if you're all set, guys, uh, do you want to introduce some tunes and yeah. let's get into it? Yeah. Lovely. Yeah. Let's go straight in. Let's go for it. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, one, two, Peter Cook says, Lush, Mandolining, Gustin, Dustin, Clever, Gary Law, Hooray, Alex Cummins, I feel this is the point the audience should start changing Assembly Lane all together while we wait. 
What does that mean? <laughs> Cryptic, Alex. Yeah. Maybe, maybe they meant chanting assembly lane. Oh, oh maybe. Yeah, it might be a bit of autocorrect, <laughs> autocorrect there. He's on his phone. I was picturing changing. I was picturing us uh, taking your clothes off and putting on different <laughs> ones. <laughs> That's the new chanting, I think. <laughs> Cool. So, uh, should we do uh, what are we doing next? <laughs> um, Planetarium. Oh, okay. Do you want to say anything about Tarwathi? Uh, not really, except that um, it's a song that we got from A.L. Lloyd. That's right, isn't it? I think yeah. that's the that, yeah, version. And um, it's a song about the whaling industry <laughs> <laughs> in, the, in the 19th century. And we were just saying earlier, we feel a lot better about doing one of those songs now that everyone on TikTok has kind of posted a video of themselves singing a 19th century whaling song. So. <laughs> <laughs> it's, uh, that wasn't our motivation behind doing it. But <laughs> we have it's so it. weird that's happened right now, isn't it? It is yeah. crazy. It's so strange. Yeah, I'm, I'm still I'm still struggling to get my head around it. <laughs> I don't I don't have TikTok either, so I I you know I'm, I'm I've, I've been people have been telling me. So you happened. don't have TikTok. Yeah, that's what it's that's what it's called, isn't it? You know about. <laughs> you need TikTok, mate. You're on the internet. Look at you. <laughs> I don't have it either. I don't intend to get it if I if I can get away with it. Yeah, yeah. Um, so anyway, yeah, we're gonna play a tune now. So this is called the Planetarium Jig with two Gs. Uh, it's not a jig. Well, it's not in six eight. We've had this this argument. It, a jig doesn't have to be in six eight, does it? Uh, but anyway, enough of that. Um, why is it called the Planetarium Jig? I can't uh, remember. It's got kind of a long intro with it. Sounds a bit like the introductory music for a planetarium there you go. Uh, show. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> ready? Check my tuning. <laughs> Thank you. 
<laughs> oh, it's such a pleasure. I told you about this moment earlier, didn't I? Where uh, in the lead up to, uh, to getting these sessions going, the, it's just it's so stressful for us. And then we hit live and uh, we just get into the music and then it's just like, yes, <laughs> this is brilliant. Uh, we've got Cobalt Studios uh, in the live chat here saying lovely sounds. Happy Sunday evening, everybody. Hello, Happy Cobalt Sunday Studios. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> too right. Hello. Uh, we've also got Bert on the live chat, we've got Ridley Errington, we've got Alex Cumming, uh, we've got Becky Hurst, Andy Kimber, hello to you all from Bath, we have been missing watching you all playing live, the, uh, so this is such a treat. Oh, well, that's, that's really, it. My, my dad's worked out how to use the computer, that's brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> Good on you Andy, uh, and if you just head over to TikTok forward slash assembly lane. <laughs> uh, <laughs> You'll find loads of sea shanties. Loads of shanties that are, I'm sure are right up your street. Um, is that us for that section, folks? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. cool. Sorry, uh, I'm just um, slightly dazed by uh, a late start there. Uh, <laughs> All right then, so let's have a little chat with these guys whilst we've got them here, eh, folks? Um, so yeah, I really like to take this opportunity in this context where we can sort of chat as well as play to find out a bit more about the bands themselves. So uh, I would love to hear from you guys how Assembly Lane came together, how you guys came together. What's the origin story here? Um, Matt and I used to play as a duo. Yeah, Niles and I met around about, was it 2011? I think ten it would have been ago. ten years ago. Yeah, ten years ago. Ten this years year. ago. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. So we're a bit, we've, we're yeah we're a bit of an institution, I guess, at this point. Um, <laughs> <laughs> we should have more. Small one. We should have more than one album, I would think, by now, really. But yeah. So yeah, we met ten years. That's ago. That's really similar to Grey Tapes, by the way. They're ten years going, and then uh, one album as well. I think that's the way we do it in the northeast. We just yeah. we just do. It's just just enough and really well. That's. Uh, <laughs> well, it's, yeah. It's, the, it's the, the weather, I guess, the temperature. It's just like, it makes you a bit sluggish. Um, <laughs> it's because you spend all That's time outside. Yourself. You spend all time outside in the sun, so you never get in. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so um, we, we, we started playing at the... Uh, do you remember, we did loads of open mic things at, the, at Bar Loco. Yeah. Do you remember, like, every Tuesday night we would do that um, for about a year. Um, and then I think we got together to do someone's recital, was it? Yeah, yeah, well, we did right? my recital um, as the four of us, didn't we? Um, but we, we the kind of... The three of us were playing with Izzy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, but we, I, I, I seem to think that we were, we were getting together and like playing tunes and stuff for a while before then as well. Yeah. Um, Should we just admit we can't remember? Is it? <laughs> <laughs> I think what it was was we're, we were like the only people that we knew that were interested in bluegrass. Mm. Because that's what we started off, you know, we kind of, I guess, sort of bonded over that really and then yeah. we, we sort of became aware that Tom was playing it as well and started playing some tunes with him and then yeah um, and we still are the only people we know apart from maybe two or three others who are, re who are into it yeah, but, uh, yeah. I well, that's I mean, how it started I, I was really interested in booking you guys for this because like it's, it's a little niche bluegrass isn't it but then I think there's something that's just universal about watching anyone do something really well Whatever your interests are, if someone's doing it really fucking well, then it's like, it's just a pleasure to watch. So uh, yeah, I would, I would put you guys firmly in that category. It's, it's, you guys are much. so good at your instruments, you make me want to, to stop playing. So uh, <laughs> pack it in. <laughs> well, that, that's all from us then. <laughs> I think part, part of what we wanted to do when we set out with this group, um, and it kind of took us, it took us a long time to kind of figure out how we were going to do it really was to combine the bluegrass influence or sort of a bluegrass approach, the instrumentation and kind of arrangement ideas with other kinds of music, folk music and whatever kind of takes our... Yeah, our it kind of feels like there's, it's... it's I, I always think with this band, it's, it's like two-way traffic as well. So the, the, the more bluegrass side of things, which is mostly kind of centered around fiddle tunes and, and things like that, really, rather than the, the song repertoire, I feel like we still approach that from like a folk perspective. So yeah, what yeah. we do isn't isn't like really super authentic bluegrass. Um, we kind of approach it as folk musicians, um, largely apart from Nas, who's American, but largely <laughs> as as folk musicians from the UK. So, but then it goes vice versa as well because this is quite a classic kind of 
American string band lineup. So. Yeah, but then in this context, that's you know we're keeping the tradition alive, really, and uh, yeah, mixing it up and yeah, yeah. awesome. Yeah. yeah. Well, um, long may assembly lane continue. And uh, <laughs> actually, with that, should we just jump into some more tunes? What do you reckon? Yeah. yeah. All right. Uh, Matt's just got a quick. Yeah, I've got a quick uh, instrument change. Oh yeah, yeah, we're going electric now, aren't we? Matt? Yeah. Um, <laughs> Alex Cumming is saying, uh, I'm into bluegrass, but piano accordion doesn't quite sound right to play it. <laughs> oh, Elliot Morris, has anybody actually seen any bluegrass? Hello, Errington's and Galloway's. Has anyone actually seen any bluegrass? <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Elliot. Um, that, that's a really nice little link there. I don't know if you remember me, Elliot. I don't know if, if your brother Bev here has had this conversation with you. But uh, you, you booked me for my first gig ever in Lincoln. Do you remember that? I'm Jamie from Easy Muffin. I was, I was James back then. I was going by James. Thanks for the gig, Elliot. Good to see you again, pal. <laughs> so bizarre. Wow. Small world. <laughs> yeah, it really is. Sorry, we need the electric. George Cohen. Yeah, so we're going to do a, an old, very old folk song now, a child ballad. Um, and you know it's a good folk song when the uh, the title character dies in the first verse. Yeah, it doesn't yeah, make so, it to the second verse. Yeah.
Once again, that's uh, TikTok forward slash. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the 15 second version of it on there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sarah Errington, nice to hear some proper music from a Morris. Makes a change from all the guitar slapping. <laughs> Whoa, shots fired from Sarah. <laughs> instrumentals now and the first tune um, it's an old tune I don't know much about it I learned it from a fiddle player called Howdy Forrester so uh, wow. there you go uh, it's called Cruel Willy and we've kind of made it a bit spacey and psychedelic and then um, going into a tune that uh, I wrote, actually inspired, kind of inspired by Bevan, uh, called the Durham Ox. Because um, we were going to, uh, for some reason, we had like an hour to kill in Darlington, I think. Like, why? How do you vaguely remember this? I yeah. seem to, uh, my, my only memory of the, the Durham Ox conversation happening is us sat in the car debating how big the Durham Ox <laughs> yeah. actually was. Yeah, yeah. Then we got an artist's depiction, and it's like the size of a regular Frisian. Like, yeah, but, at, at, the <laughs> but time, at the time, it was enormous. So basically, yeah. the, the Durham Ox was... Uh, yeah, we might need to explain. Yeah. <laughs> I've, I've lost it. So there, there are a couple of Lincolnshire oh, fellows yeah. here anyway. So yeah, yeah. Basically, the, the Durham Ox was born in Lincolnshire, um, and at the time, he was the biggest cow ever on record, the biggest... Bull. Come on. on. <laughs> <laughs> and he was so big that an enterprising businessman from County Durham bought this ox and then started touring all over the country with this ox. Just come point. and check out this massive Just cow. Like, come yeah. And, yeah, this was about 18, 1802, I think. Before, and, before telly. Yeah. yeah. I, I, I think... <laughs> I kind of I like to think of the Durham Ox as the original rock star because he, he lived, <laughs> you know, he, he lived an excessive lifestyle and he was exploited by by sort of talentless businessmen who encouraged his uh, you know excessive behavior to the to the point that it it killed him and he collapsed under his own weight <laughs> after after they had made thousands of pounds on merchandise they put him on plates and on prints and everything so he was, yeah. like the, he was the elvis of the early 19th century yeah pretty much pretty much did they make sausages out of him um, i'm not sure what became of his <laughs> <laughs> feels like that would be um, only uh, respectful you know but yeah he uh, so we were passing through Darlington for whatever reason, I can't remember. And uh, we were like, what, whatever, what interesting things have come from Darlington? Uh, and that, you know, that led to this most timeless tale of exploitation and excess. And, yeah, stunning. Uh, and large, Warning to us all. Yeah, large bulls. <laughs> um, so that inspired this tune, the Durham Ox. Beautiful. Let's hear it. There we go. Sorry. Ah, oh, sorry. <laughs> Actually, you should be here. Yep. I, I can hear it. That's weird. Oh, no, I can hear that. It's the spirit of the ox. Oh, there's some sound coming out. But it stopped again. Yeah. Might be a lead. It's, what is it about? So the, the universe does not want Assembly Lane to reach their, yeah. <laughs> their audience. Have you got any more bovine filler chat? <laughs> <laughs> well, um, yeah, I've got so many leads here that I don't really want to start swapping them out, so... Um, oh, that's a shame. That is a shame. It's just working, I don't Do you want to just give it another wiggle? When you sort of wiggled it before, it made a... Promising sound. Could well just be the lead and the input, is that... Is, uh, Jacks and all that. Is your guitar tuned up? It's, it's, sort of it's just really quiet. It's quite quiet, yeah. Mm. Whoa! But luckily, it's the volume on the guitar. Yeah.
last. Yeah. Lovely. So that one's for the Durham Ox. <laughs> <laughs> Wherever he may be. My new favourite cow. <laughs> <laughs> Sue Hall, great tunes, lads. Justin Dunn, great. I remember the Durham Ox in the tune when there was a cattle market. No need to go to Hexham. <laughs> you must be, must be some age. Right? <laughs> Alistair Paul, sounding great, lads. Miss yous all and watching the two in Bar Loco on a Tuesday. <laughs> oh, man. The two was now the Matt's duo's name. That was the two. Um, that's, that's a pretty cool name. Man. Yeah, especially because there were three of us. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> there wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> Right. Uh, is that us for that section? I'm getting yeah, 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 yeah lovely. All right, wow, this is so nice. Um, I'm in such a privileged position to sit and just listen to wonderful music live, but we're not alone. There are so many people at home that are really enjoying this. But uh, Andy said that was great. Do you know who Andy is? My dad. <laughs> He's uh, friends with Bert. Okay, right. Oh, if it's, if it's Kimber, that is my dad. Yeah, <laughs> it's just it's just Andy. Bert, Bert. Maybe it's a different Andy. It's just Bert, that's his name, and he's saying... Bert. Andy said that was great. Oh, different, <laughs> Andy, different Andy then. That's pretty, that's pretty <laughs> Do you know this Andy? Andy. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone knows someone called Andy, I'm sure. Yeah. <laughs> but I only know one Bert. <laughs> and he was here last week. Was that... Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That, so that's our Bertie. Yeah. Saying, right, is that, is that his, his pops or something? Is that... I don't know. Who's his, Bert's his dad's Andy? called Michael. Right. <laughs> I'm very confused with what's going on tonight. No idea. Um, all right, folks. Uh, yeah, so I would love to hear from you guys about some memorable experiences from the road, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking for those stories of uh, good times, bad times, weird times. Are there any real notable moments from uh, your, your many years in assembly start laning? With? Do you want to um, start with Butthole Lane, or should we get to that? <laughs> Please tell me about Butthole I mean, Lane. They've been teasing me with the butthole all night long. <laughs> well, I mean, we can't, we can't not talk about it now. Basically, um, Bevan, back, back in the days when we could actually go and play gigs, uh, and it, it seems like almost all of our gigs were like really far away in the southwest of England. Um, so we always had really long drives, and Bev had to do all the driving. Uh, but there, were, there was one really memorable detour. Um, well, there were a couple of memorable detours, but the most memorable was probably the one where I, I, was, I was in back, kind of not really paying much attention to anything. And, but I just looked at the sat-nav in front. I ju we, we were, I guess we were on the A1 near Loughborough. And... <laughs> There's just like a little cul-de-sac that said, butthole lane. It was the, it was the only thing that showed up on the screen. It yeah. was like, it was <laughs> completely blank, yeah. apart from just this text saying butthole lane. And, uh, <laughs> we just, so, so we immediately left the A1 uh, yeah. to go looking for it. <laughs> and um, there it was with a perfectly preserved street sign, which we posed in front of naturally. <laughs> And uh, then we went and got a pizza. <laughs> wow. <laughs> and that was when you knew that the project was really jamming and that you needed, that was, you, yeah. you know, it was a... <laughs> a good day was had by all. Yeah. Um, in terms of an actual gig uh, experience, though, my favourite was when uh, we were playing at this lovely little uh, venue called Pebbles Tavern, which is in a place called Watch It in Somerset. And... Um, it also has a, uh, so it's a, it's a sort of coastal village that has a steam railway that runs through it. And um, Nars looked at the timetable and there was a train coming through, but it clashed with our set. <laughs> and um, so w when like nearing the end of the set, um, Nars kind of, you know, mentioned this like, as part of our chat, as you do. And everybody in the bar was just like, just go and see the train. So Nars left the stage. So did Bevan. And, and so did Bevan. The and, they, and they ran to the, to the station, saw the steam train come through, <laughs> and then came back to the gig and did the rest of the gig. <laughs> now that's rock and roll. Yeah. yeah. Jesus. Was, yeah. <laughs> you think the Durham Ox is rock and roll. But. So that was, uh, that, was, that was good fun. <laughs> it was, yeah. 
amazing. And then uh, um, well, we, I missed out on that. I kind of, I just yeah. stayed. You guys just stayed and played fiddle tunes, and then yeah, we were holding yeah. down the fort. We, we were, yeah. 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 <laughs> At the end of the gig, it sounded better actually. <laughs> it sounded better. At the end of the gig, we got the whole pub to come outside as well for some reason. I have a photo. I think. Yeah, yeah. We started doing that was a good that. photo. As well, yeah. it's yeah. like everyone would come out. And there was that one guy who had a bit too much cider. Which Tom. which one? Which one? <laughs> no, that, that. <laughs> These are real <laughs> stories. I feel like there's a whole podcast in yeah. the making of just like. Uh, touring folk bands like mm. you guys have the proper stories like, yeah. the ones no, you're supposed to have there was this guy with a moustache if you go on our Facebook page and kind of trawl through the photos there's a guy with a moustache <laughs> like he, he really stands out I think <laughs> <laughs> Uh, bear in mind, this is this is a very unspecific statement to, to make. The, the the guy that had had a bit too much cider in a, a bar that won the like camera cider pub of the year. For yeah, the South to be, if England, you like so. cider, you have to go to the Pebbles Tavern. Yeah, it's got a good cider <laughs> that's collection. the moral of the story. <laughs> <laughs> well, there you go. Take it from these guys, yeah. um, <clears throat> folks. You are, of course, in my. Oh, sorry, I do, I do need to quickly just ask you. Bob Dylan's bath time favourites. Now that is a list I want to make. Uh, given the chance, would you guys join Bob in the tub? Yeah. Why not? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> <laughs> Matt's thinking about it. Would you? No, I definitely a... would. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> it, was, it was just no okay. question. I'm trying to yeah. think what a better story is. Is a better story I had a bath with Bob Dylan, or is it Bob Dylan wanted to bathe with me and I turned him down? <laughs> 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 now that is uh, that's a business-minded musician, uh, yeah. you know. <laughs> just just, just, I think just yeah. the idea of Bob Dylan bathing is 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 uh, is, is quite sort of like you know. just the, the idea Carousing. of a folk musician bathing <laughs> yeah. is just quite a foreign concept. <laughs> right? There you go. Um, all right, guys. Uh, so I don't know if all of you. I feel like this is uh, some of you are aware of the game Danger Sprout. Uh, some of you are not. Let's get you acquainted with it now. Uh, so it's basically the way this game works, folks. Um, it's taking the nation by storm. You have all heard of COD, but this is our very own personal video game, which uh, will pop up on the screen in one second. I need to run over very professionally with uh, a remote control here. It's not the BBC! <laughs> <laughs> There we go, so these guys can see the game now. Optima, see more, hear more. <laughs> Thanks for clearing that up, mate, I couldn't. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Today's episode is sponsored by Optima. Um, so basically, folks, the house at head has jumped onto the table. It shouldn't be on the table, okay? But uh, mum's left the room, and she was eating a plate of Brussels sprouts. She'd left one in the centre of the plate, and uh, we need to put it back to the centre of the plate. <laughs> before mum comes back, okay? So the sprout is in the house at head's mouth. It's voice controlled, okay? The length of the sound that you make determines the amount of <laughs> momentum we give the sprout. We're trying to find the center of the plate. Who would like to go first? <laughs> Bev, sounding very confident there. Uh, so Bev, uh, we're after any noise that you wish. Uh, the, the, the type of noise doesn't particularly affect its, its duration. We're watching the thermometer on the left there, and we're trying to find the center. Okay. And then we're ready? Yeah. Uh, uh, oh, is that he's even? maxed it out! <laughs> he's absolutely oh, maxed it out! It's oh. gone to the center, but we're rolling past oh. it. And uh, it's going to be a pitiful uh, score there. Uh, uh, very, very confident. 400. Uh, so uh, it's not a patch on Martha's <laughs> two mil. <there. laughs> but Bertie uh, last week did did get us 900 thou, uh, and I and I can tell you, folks. I know you're wondering at home. It is possible to beat this score. So uh, who would like to go next? Is it? Can I just ask? Is yeah. There, is there a knack to to this? Like. Do, do I, do I, am I aiming for the longest possible note uninterrupted? We're trying to find, no, 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 it's, it's, uh, so you see, oh, we're I'm trying to judge, I'm trying to judge the, it. The sprout had a lot of momentum there because Too we reached momentum. the top of the right. thermometer. So, so wanna, we just, I want to bring it back a bit. We overcooked yeah. it. We just yeah. want a shorter sound here. Okay, cool. Yeah. And we're looking for the center of right, the I'll plate. Get, I'll okay? give it a rush then. Yeah. Right. And just think about mum as well. Yeah. Whilst you're doing this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, it's oh. still pretty spicy. Uh, and we are onto the plate. We are off the plate. I think there's oh. still too much momentum, but that's going to be a much better score. Assembly lane there, clocking in at 1,521. Two more players to play. Who's it going to be? I will go. Niles will go. Here we go. Journey right to the, the center of the plate. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, Niles, the center of the plate, please. Here we go. Sprout. Oh, oh, that's, uh, he has no, heeded the advice that, that we have here, and we are rolling towards the plate. Will we meet it? We'll meet it at its edge. Oh. What is that score? It's 3,249. And following that trend, Matt, do you think <laughs> you can find the center of the plate for assembly lane tonight? No, but I'll give, I'll give it a go. <laughs> oh, I, sorry, I took it as... No, that was, I didn't mean to do that. I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> I thought that was your sound. Okay, doesn't matter. That one doesn't count. That one doesn't count. <laughs> That one doesn't count. Still better. For resetting. Uh, Matt doesn't think he can find it, but Matt, um, I think all, with all the bad luck we've had with tech and everything, this could be the moment where it really turns around for you. Imagine what it would mean for Assembly Lane <laughs> for this score. It would be life changing. <laughs> <laughs> no pressure, Matt. Here we go. Uh... <laughs> That's very good. We have left the mouth there. We are on the plate and we are coming oh, yes. to a slow oh. stop right near the center. <laughs> oh. What is that? Oh. What? Look at that. 931,225. I will need to refer to last week's episode uh, to tell you, but I can confirm that you are now on the top three wow. of the leaderboard. Is that out of three? Uh, no, 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 this, this is like session five and there's been a lot of different band members as well. That's pretty serious, so uh, congratulations. And uh, that's going to really do things for your career as well. Folks. <laughs> um, all right, so yeah, before we just catch the, the final lovely little bit of music from these guys, this is your chance at home, folks, to uh, win some amazing merchandise. Uh, it's pretty special today, I'm going to tell you. Uh, if you can see, I am wearing an amazing Assembly Lane t-shirt uh, that is featuring the artwork from their debut album, Northbound. Uh, you can pick up Northbound as well as um, uh, isolation tapes on their band camp. You can download them. There are CDs uh, available for Northbound as well. So check it out. It's really, really good stuff. But if you'd like to get it for free right now, you can ring us, 0141-628-6274. The first person to get through will receive three copies of Assembly Lane's debut album, plus this custom made, there's only two of them in the world. How nice is that? I'm wearing one of them and you get this one because I don't, I don't wash clothes. So this, I, I'll sweat through this one and give it to you. <laughs> Let's see who gets there first. 0141 628 6274. Call now. There is a slight delay on the, the way that the, uh, <clears throat> the stream works. So we, we're expecting them any moment now. 0141. Six two eight six two seven four. New chances at home. Pick up your phone. Punch the numbers in. There we go. Hello, welcome to How's That TV Sessions. Who is this? Hey, Jamie. It's Alistair. Oh. It's Alistair, everybody. <laughs> Alistair from the live chat. Congratulations, Alistair. You have won three copies of Assembly Lane's fantastic debut. Uh, as well as your very own custom Assembly Lane Northbound T-shirt. How do you feel, Alistair? Well, wow, that's very exciting. I'm just going to turn the, uh, the stream off because it's very loud. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Sorry, I'm getting really excited now. Well, congratulations to you. Like time, time warp going on. Yeah, 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 yeah. So you want to mute your, your YouTube. Um, yeah, so you, you, you play in uh, various projects with these guys, actually, don't you, Alistair? Uh, I've, yeah, I've, I've had that honor. Yeah. Over the years. <laughs> well, uh, there you go. So that's real nice that uh, the, the prizes have gone to you there. Alistair, you're a lovely, lovely person. 
You're a beautiful person. Who are you, Jamie? And uh, thank you so much. And uh, that's what I was looking for, you know, to send some love this way as well. <laughs> <laughs> it's a two-way thing, you know. All right. <laughs> Thanks, Alistair. Take it easy, man. Enjoy those prizes. You do, man. All you right. Do. Peace out. Bye now. Bye. Bye. No, stop ringing, folks. You're not going <laughs> to... That's it. That's the end of the prizes. <clears throat> there we go, folks. So we've come to the final little lovely bit of music from Assembly Lane. How nice is this? Let's just soak in these last moments of live music from Cobalt Studios yeah. with Assembler Long. <laughs> Are we allowed to uh, do another little gig plug? Absolutely, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So we're playing um, a full set at the Globe. Uh, Globe is another Newcastle venue uh, who live stream their gigs. Um, yeah, they're, they're, they're rubbish, man. Don't, yeah. Don't. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, it's, it's been great. i uh, played there a couple of times with some other projects, and uh, they're doing a great job to keep live music going through the pandemic. And we are playing there on the 12th of February. Uh, so we'll be doing a full set, loads of new material, uh, some old favorites from the first album. Yeah, it's going to be good. So yeah, we'll hopefully see some of you there. Get tuned in. The Globe Newcastle, if you're desperate for some more assembly lane. I know I am, guys. <laughs> Don't keep me waiting. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? So, yeah, we're doing, we're going to do another song. Uh, this is a uh, kind of an old broadside ballad called Allentine of Harrow. And it features our alternative instrumental lineup of the that Olas. thing. <laughs> and a viola. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Do we count it in? What? I am a bold young highwayman. My name is Tyne of Harrow. I come from poor but honest folk to the hills of Yarrow. Forgetting of a maid with a child to England I sailed over. I left my parents and became a wild and daring rover. Straight to London I did go where I became a soldier. Resolved to fight Britannia's foes, no sergeant at arms was bolder. They shipped me to a foreign shore where the cannons alive did rattle. Believe me, boys, I do not boast how I behaved in battle. So many's the battle I fought in in Holland and French Flanders. I always fought with courage keen, led on by brave commanders. To the cruel and sign called me hard, and I was flogged and carted. Cruel the usage that I got, and so I soon deserted. Set sail as fast as wind could heave me. The moment of my liberty, no wound should deprive me. I slipped into the woods by night, by all my friends forsaken. I could not walk the roads by day for fear I should be taken. But being of a courage keen and likewise able bodied, I robbed Lord Lyons on the King's Highway. Pistols heavy loaded. I clapped my pistol to his breast, which made him for to quiver. Five hundred pounds in heavy gold to me he did deliver.
Might I rob to turn him green, a revenue collector? And what I got, I gave it to a widow to protect her. I always rob the rich and great to rob the poor, I scorn it. And now in iron chains, I am bound in grief, I know who I born it. So now in Newgate, I am confined and by the laws convicted. Hang on Tyburn trees, my fate, at which I'm much affrighted. Farewell, my friends and countrymen, and my native hills of Yarrow. Kind providence will test the soul of Valentine. Gorgeous. So, so nice. Thank you, Thank guys. You. Um, Becky Hurst, I can confirm this, Elliot. Let me find what Elisa says. AP's been topless all year, so this is a welcome addition to his wardrobe and lifestyle. <laughs> <laughs> That's Becky confirming it as well. <laughs> Alistair Paul, you know it, L. Alpin McGregor, I'm going straight to the globe after this. Emma Fisk and Hot Club do Nord. There you go. Is there a Globe gig tonight? Do you guys know? There must be. Yeah. Must be. Well, there you go. Head over. I'm sure if you Google uh, Globe Newcastle live streams, you will find that as well. Thank you for that tip off, Alpin. Absolutely. Good to hear from you as well. So we're going to uh, we're going to finish off with uh, one of our favourites, isn't it? I think. It's one of my sure, favourites. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, Jerusalem Morn. Yeah, it's the last track from the first album, uh, which you can kind of get wherever albums are sold. By us. Space. Yeah, pretty much yeah. from us. Um, you right, can I'll also see. listen to it on Spotify, but don't do that. Just buy it from us. Don't even mention that. Don't even tell them that. <laughs> so this is an old kind of spiritual, but Matt can... Tell us more about it, maybe. Oh, not really. I mean, I, I, this is a song that I, I think I learnt it shortly before we met. Um, did we? We did this, didn't we, when we were doing the duo? We did. This yeah. is one of the earliest things that we did, and uh, it's it's kind of a gospel song, and I really like singing gospel, but I'm not allowed to because I'm an atheist for one thing, um, <laughs> and, and it kind of upsets people. But um, this is this is kind of close enough to being gospel without really being particularly Jesusy. Um, It's a great one for singing harmonies on. Ready? Just about. Yeah. Okay. One. One. Two. Three. Don't you hear Jerusalem mourn? Don't you hear Jerusalem mourn? Thank God there's a heaven that's a ringing in my soul. My soul set free. Don't you hear Jerusalem mourn? Here's a Baptist preacher, you can tell him by his coat Don't you hear Jerusalem mourn? He's got a bottle in his pocket that he can't hardly talk Don't you hear Jerusalem mourn? Don't you hear Jerusalem mourn? Don't you hear Jerusalem mourn? Thank God there's a heaven that's ringing in my soul My soul set free, don't you hear Jerusalem mourn? Here's a Methodist preacher, you can tell him how it goes Don't you hear Jerusalem mourn? He'll never let a chicken get big enough to crow Don't you hear Jerusalem mourn? Don't you hear Jerusalem mourn? Don't you hear Jerusalem mourn? Thank God there's a heaven that's a ringing in my soul My soul set free, don't you hear Jerusalem mourn? Well, the holy 
us people right He'll jingle his bell, don't you hear Jerusalem more? He'll take ten dollars and he'll pray you out of purgatory, don't you hear Jerusalem more? Don't you hear Jerusalem more? Don't you hear Jerusalem more? Thank God there's a heaven that's a ringing in my soul, and the soul set free, don't you hear Jerusalem more? Don't you hear Jerusalem more? Don't you hear Jerusalem mourn? Thank God there's a heaven that's a ringing in my soul, and my soul set free. Don't you hear Jerusalem mourn? What an absolute treat. Thank you so much, guys. That was so, so nice. Thanks so much for having us, Jamie. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's a real treat to be able to get out of the house at the moment. Yeah. <laughs> it's an absolute privilege to get out of the house, actually. Yeah, yeah. It's like one step better than going to Asda, this, right? Oh, man. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's a real dream. It's on a par with the co-op. Yeah. <laughs> wow, really? It's, it's yeah, right up there. Yeah, I'm, I'm serious. Yeah. <laughs> well, there you go. Thank you so much, everyone, for joining us at home. Um, we've got Oshin. We've got Pete Ward here. Uh, so many people uh, watching. Thank you for, for, for watching and taking part. I hope you've enjoyed that little slice of live music. Uh, there is much more live music to be had. I think the Globe have got a, a real big program as well. So do check those guys out. Huge thanks to Cobalt, this amazing venue for having us. Um, if you're not already aware, they have opened an ethical, sustainable food shop. It's a one-stop shop. Uh, for, for all of your grocery needs, but it's all super ethical and sustainable and all that good stuff. Uh, so do check those guys out at Ernie.Oosburn, and they are currently serving hot drinks, baked goods, and organic veg bags from their hatch, and they are very soon to be throwing their doors open for the full hog, so that's very exciting stuff. 
Uh, and they also have an online arts events program coming up in February, so keep your eyes peeled for that. Um, if you can, please do donate uh, for, for enjoying tonight. Um, you can donate on the link below beneath this video and also at howsattv.com. Don't worry if you can't, if you skint, this show is still very much for you. Uh, but if you can, we do need your help to make sure that we can pay everyone and, uh, uh, and in particular to make the last two sessions happen. Uh, we do have funding, but those last two are reliant on your donations. So if you can, please do it. If you do it, you get entered into a prize draw for a How's That TV t-shirt. Wow! <laughs> uh, <laughs> the winner uh, out of people have donated since the last session is Peter Cook. Peter Thank you for your donation. You have a How's That TV t-shirt on its way to you. And if you donate uh, as of uh, this session, you are in for a chance of winning a How's That TV t-shirt as well. Uh, folks, the time has come for me to sign off now. I believe in human spirit. We will get through this crazy time and we will dance together again. And until then, I will see you next Sunday with me lost me. There you go, folks. It's been announced. It's official. Thank you so much for watching. Huge thanks to Assembly Lane. Assembly Lane, everybody. Remember the name, Assembly Lane. <laughs> Sleep well. Peace, folks. Black.